fourth and final round of the Marathon Classic wrapping up today. As you just saw earlier, Lydia Ko proving why she is still the number one player in the world. Took home a cool 225000 bucks today. Yeah, but she had to work for it. Absolutely. It wasn't just 72-hole tournament. 76 holes, the fourth playoff hole, an incredible and memorable one here at Highland Meadows. H. Jay Kim in front of a packed house out here at Highland Meadows. She was your leader heading into today. Seemed like she was going to cruise. She was 15 under par. Here she is on number six. However, problems. She was three over on the day, finished 12 under par for the tournament. Tie, uh, she was alone in fourth. Here we go, Lydia Ko hitting off P number one, the number one player in the world. She won this event in 2014. Here we go on hole number two with an incredible approach. Look at that fall. Nice stop there. All right, still on hole number two. Ko shot 68, 66, 67 in the first three rounds, and she will birdie here to make it 13 under par. Skip to the fourth. She's attempting birdie here, and she gets it. She will take the solo lead at this point in the tournament. Number six now. Attempting the birdie, she sinks that one too. She gets a two-stroke lead. At one point, she led by three strokes. Stacy Lewis, the hometown kid, everybody wondering how she would do today. She was in contention coming into the day, but boy, she fell apart early, had some difficulties. Here she is on number two, the par three. Her tee shot goes wide and behind the bunker, not good. She would end up bogeying the hole as she misses the par putt. Stacy Lewis finishes at 10 under pretty good showing, only her second top 10 in this tournament. Aria Jatanagarn here, hitting off two. Impressive run. She follows her second round 69 with a third round of 66, and she gets this within inches of the pen. Taps in for birdie there. Allison Lee was in contention, and then some problems here on 10. Chips it almost to the microphone. She would bogey. Back to the number one player in the world, Lydia Ko. For the win. For the win on 18. Birdie attempt. Oh. And she just misses, finishes 14 under three-way tie, which means. The fourth playoff hole we go back to 18, and there it is. It seemed like it would never end. They were talking about when darkness would hit Sylvania, but Lydia Ko puts an end to it, sinking that putt on the fourth playoff hole. She is the winner of the 2016 Marathon Classic. I struggled a little bit in the back nine, but you know, playing really solid in the front nine really helped my round going today. Uh, but you know, even though it did take four extra hauls, uh, you know, it was really cool. It's really cool to be holding the trophy at the end of the day. Um, but you know, uh, Miriam and Arya, they all deserve it as well. Joining us now, Legacy Golf Pro Claire Batista. Claire, what do you make of that playoff <laughs> today? Um, you know, I just can't believe it took them four rounds or four, you know, times to play before someone birdied that hole because it's so birdieable. Right. It's like, oh my goodness, when is you know, someone going to make a putt? And, and they used to go back to 17 and then 18. Now just back to 18. Is that an advantage or a disadvantage to see that hole that many um, times? I would think it would be an advantage and it definitely brings the crowd into it. I think that's why they do it because 17, no one would be out there. Right. Um, but you know, you you figure um, someone's got to hit that or come close to that green end too. And finally, on the last go round, um, Aria went for it. Mm -hmm. uh, she ended up in the right hand bunker. Uh, but everybody was kind of laying up, playing safe. And uh, Liddy had time and time again had a putt. She was probably kicking herself like, "Are you <laughs> yeah. kidding me?" Because she is such a good putter. Mm -hmm. um, and finally, she you know. Had made it go in finally <laughs> talk about Lydia number one player in the world this is the second time she's won this event what do you see in her future with play like this coming out of her um well number one is I did forecast that you she did, did. I just want to say. <laughs> you did Claire <laughs> um you know it's funny because um she has said that when she's 30 she's going to retire I can see so, it so um she has about what 10 more years 11 mm -hmm. more years I mean just amazing being 19 years old winning I think this is her 14th uh, championship and number one in the world. I, I would imagine it's got to be hard to keep goals. I mean, what's your next goal? Right. Mm -hmm. um, I guess the Olympics, that would be really right. cool. You yeah. know, keep, and a gold keep winning medal more there. money so mom gives you more of an allowance. Is, is <laughs> there you is. go. All right, Claire, don't <laughs> run away. We want to show some others. You were talking about a 19-year-old. Let's shout out an 18-year-old from Canada, Brooke Henderson, the number two player in the world, had a rough round yesterday. 
Here she is on 17, looking to right the ship a little bit. She walked away without talking to any of the media after yesterday's round. Here, as we mentioned, out of the bunker on 17. Beautiful chip out. And she would birdie the hole. On 18, she became the only the third player in tournament history to reach the green on her second shot. This for Eagle, not quite. She would also miss the birdie putt, but she would make par, finishing even here at Highland Meadows. Well, the plan was, uh, you know, all week to just to hit kind of a, a knockdown driver and get it as close to the end of the fairway as I could um, without catching the down slope. And I hit almost the, the perfect drive and, and knew if I hit a solid three wood, you know, I could get on in two. And unfortunately, I uh, didn't even come away with birdie, but, you know, to give myself uh, an awesome look at it was pretty cool. Beatrice Ricari, impressive third round score of 65. Here she is teeing off of one. She actually won this event in 2013. Moved to the eighth hole. She's attempting a very long birdie. And it sneaks right into the hole. She had an excellent showing today. Three under on the day, 10 under to par. Here she is on the 18th. Sinks one more birdie to finish the day tied for six. She says she just loves playing here, the Marathon Classic. Uh, it is uh, it's so special. This week is so special for me. Uh, you know, I'm lucky that uh, I played great on the first day, but I just didn't make any. And, you know, I, I put myself in a good position. I had a very low round yesterday and gave myself a chance and played really well today. So, you know, I always play great here. You know, I've always finished either top 10 or one in 2013. So it's definitely a very special week for me. And it's great to be back to a place where, you know, you've played, you've played this good. Ricaria, former Classic champ Brittany Lang won the U.S. Open just last week. She started the day six under and was looking to make a move, but she did not have a very good day. This was great out of the bunker. However, on number eight, number 10, not so good. She finished three over on the day. You thought maybe some fatigue after playing and winning in the U.S. Open. They're coming here for a Tuesday Pro-Am, but she said she actually felt pretty good. Well, it's the best I felt today. My body, mentally, I've got I got a lot of sleep. I felt really, really good, and you know, just started started my day with two perfect shots, and you know, over the green. It's a tough, you know. I normally have a really good attitude, and I was struggling today, so maybe a little bit, but you know, dug deep there to make some birdies coming in. So pleased with that. As we saw a little earlier in the show, Lydia Ko, still the number one player in the world, takes home the championship today, 69 on the day, 14 under overall, wins that sudden death. Stacey Lewis, hometown favorite, finishes 11 under on the day. She comes in fifth place. Allison Lee, 10 under on the day. We wrap up the top 10 with Kelly Sean at eight under on the day, final round score of 69. All right, we welcome back. Claire Batista, actually, she didn't go anywhere. No. She just stayed right here, got to watch all of the highlights. Now, tell us your highlights of this whole tournament all together. Oh, you know, Highland Meadows, Jed Silverman and his, his staff, they do such a wonderful job year in and year out. Um, and it's so much fun to, to get out here, even starting on Monday, watching practice rounds and, and pro-ams. And um, the women, I think, really, the women golfers, really, really appreciate being here. Well, you were right. You're, you're thought that Lydia Ko to win the number one player in the world was 100% correct but are you a little surprised that she missed you mentioned earlier she missed so many chances to win that really were makeable putts really because she's very very good putter she's got a great short game um, Miriam Lee I never saw 65 coming today with mm -hmm. the conditions and really I mean 64 was right there you don't expect anyone to bogey 18 really um, so that was unfortunate for her but um, again very exciting we knew it was going to come down to the last couple holes because they're you know two par fives you're gonna well eagle right, right. already had an eagle um, it's just so exciting and but you know they could have done it maybe in one playoff hole. <laughs> yeah. Love Claire Batista. She was great with us all week. So thankful that she could be here. Claire Batista's Golf Academy up at the Legacy. Absolutely. And it's sad to say our coverage here from Highland Meadows is over. We covered the entire event, brought it all back to you, and we had a lot of fun doing it. Christina Wyo, Eric Hobart, back to you, Brandon. 
Hey, thanks team. Also front and center for that spectacular finish, Satika Runrong, a former UT golfer, received special sponsor's exemption to play in this tournament before her elimination in the second round. But what a time for her first LPGA appearance.